Hello there, Brucey Bear would like to welcome you back to his channel. We last spoke to you from London and we've done quite a lot since then. We went to Bedford from London, then we spent a few days in Wiltshire and we've been in Wales for the last week or so. It's been a very eventful week or two and Brucey Bear has been having the time of his life. Now there were a number of things that we could have talked about today. We discussed the possibility of talking about alcoholism within the Exclusive Brethren Church. Um, we discussed the possibility of talking about their driving habits. Um, <coughs> we also talked about a number of other things that can wait for, shall we say, future videos. But we got an email a couple of days ago that related to these YouTube videos and what we thought we'd do is we'd talk about that instead and we'd share it with the viewers. I've got the letter here. Um, it was from my father actually. Got the shock of my life when it appeared in my inbox considering I haven't seen him for nearly a year. But there you go. It actually took me five or ten minutes before I plucked up the carriage to open it. Anyway, this is what he says. In the light of your present position, and while you are continuing your attacks against the brethren and against the truths which we hold, please completely refrain from contacting any of us in any way whatsoever. Furthermore, we are aware of the malicious and immoral video clips you have posted on YouTube and ask you to remove them immediately and cease from any further hostilities against the brethren. Short and rather to the point. He's seen these videos, or at least he's heard about them, and doesn't want anything more to do with us. Now I thought that was... It's sad. In a way it's to be expected. Um, the exclusive brethren do monitor these sites. Um, so <laughs> anything we say on here is going to be reported back to the leaders. Um, <coughs> and while we're here we'd like to say a hello to them. Um, but it's interesting looking at this letter and thinking about what it means because talking to Brucey Bear about it, I'm completely unaware of having said anything that's been malicious or immoral. Um, however, we are aware that they, the Brethren do perceive anything said about any of their methods to be an attack on the Assembly position. Um, I think what it really comes back to is they feel threatened whenever anybody questions any of their motives. You see, the Brethren forbid questioning within the Church. Um, popular catchphrases by the leaders are, we'll do the thinking, you do the doing. And the other one is, if you don't understand it, don't question it. Um, it appears that Jesus Christ would not have made a good exclusive Brethren. At the age of 12 he was sitting in the temple asking questions. Dear, dear, Jesus would not have been a good brethren. Um, <coughs> much less those who reasoned in the school of Tyrannus. Reasoning would also be forbidden. Um, so, we're not really sure what to make of all this. Um, I know we've been talking about this online and we'd like to thank the 60 or 70 of you who have commented on this matter. Um, <coughs> But what we've decided to do is that we're going to keep filming these videos. Um, what we've set out to do is to tell the truth and to educate some of you about some of the exclusive brethren practices and an email like this isn't going to stop us. Um, at the end of the day, if the exclusive brethren are objecting to what we're saying on here, then it means we must be doing something right. And as a close friend of Brucey Bears said, and I must tell you his name, his name is Ethel Pie. Now I do like a nice piece of Ethel Pie every now and then. Um, as Ethel Pie said, you won't change us. Now Brucey would like to say goodbye and it looks like he's got something on his nose. 